Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about cloud computing. Cloud computing is the on demand delivery of IT services over the internet with pay as you go plan. Instead of buying and maintaining a physical data center, you can access cloud services such as computing power, data storage, networking, databases and applications on an as needed basis from a cloud service provider. More specifically, cloud computing is a way of accessing these services over the cloud. In addition to that, such services can be retrieved virtually from anywhere in the world. For example, if you are working on your mobile from a bus in London or on your laptop at a hotel in New York City, you can access the same information because it all stays online on the cloud cloud is just a metaphor for the internet particularly a data center all right so rather than storing data on your computer hard drive cloud based storage makes it possible to save it to a remote database as long as your device has access to the internet it has access to the data okay so who is using cloud computing well almost everyone from your smartphone and your car to your smartwatch and your most loved food delivery app cloud is everywhere but cloud computing is useful especially for businesses because it gives them flexibility and scalability many organizations are already using cloud computing companies of every type and size are using the cloud for a wide range of services such as data backup data protection data storage data retrieval disaster recovery email virtual desktop server virtualization software development and customer facing web applications for example healthcare companies are using the cloud to create a more customized method for patient treatment financial institutions are using the cloud to power real time fraud detection and prevention Video game makers are using the cloud to deliver online games to millions of users around the world. The working of cloud computing is basically depends on three crucial elements. Cloud service providers store data and applications on physical devices at their own sites known as data center. Internet connects cloud service providers and customers across the world. customers access data and applications these elements look simple but the technology that puts them together is so complex for example consider how things worked before the cloud period every company had its own it teams who were organizing data center including hardware was paying heaps of electricity bills and also required an excessive amount of land to run the data center but that's not necessary anymore companies that used to run their own data center no longer need to worry about controlling protecting maintaining and upgrading the system they just need to focus on building great customer experience instead of technical issues for example cloud service providers offer subscription based services customers access all the computing resources whatever they need by paying a monthly fee that means they don't have to purchase software licenses upgrade outdated servers buy more devices when they run out of storage and install software updates against security threats this is all done by the cloud service providers pretty awesome and hassle free for businesses here is a real life example cloud computing is like renting a car person gets the car to drive only but it's up to the owner to do the repairing work routine checking and maintenance of his car owner is also responsible to replace the old car with the new ones when it gets old and when the person wants an upgrade to accommodate his needs it's absolutely simple by signing a new rental contract and exchanging the cars all right now types of cloud computing infrastructure as a service delivers a pick and choose method 
to businesses it assumes that your business already has some basic it infrastructure in place and it allows you to enhance that infrastructure by providing different services as needed this technique is best for businesses that have their own operating system data applications runtime and middleware but they need tools to support them those tools are provided by the cloud service providers such as servers firewalls virtualizations storage and networking csps give business the freedom to construct their own hardware infrastructure google drive is the best example of this type platform as a service delivers the building blocks for software production that includes development tools coding programs and pre-configured application components with pass cloud service provider has more control over your business including security operating system runtime and middleware business only has to deal with data and application as a result business can focus on building hosting and testing applications which they can do faster and at a lower cost software as a service is the most common type of cloud computing where a business doesn't have to do anything because everything is managed and controlled by the cloud service provider even troubleshooting of the network is completely up to the csp saas provides complete user ready applications to the business which save a lot of time for the technical team google docs is the best example of this type where you don't have to download any software and install it on your devices everything is organized and accessed through a web browser cloud computing has three deployment models in public cloud third party cloud service providers own and manage public clouds for the general public csp control all the hardware software and infrastructure that make up the cloud their customers access data and applications that exist on the cloud public csps include microsoft azure ibm amazon web services and so on netflix is the big customer of aws for video streaming private cloud companies host private clouds for their personal use and it is operated by a single corporation organizations own the clouds underlying infrastructure and host it either on site or at a remote location private csps include vmware and openstack hybrid cloud is a combination of private cloud and public cloud companies use private clouds for sensitive functions and public clouds to accommodate the rise in computing demand data and applications often flow automatically between them a good example is hailing a cab these are the benefits of cloud computing here are some examples of cloud computing here are some common cloud service providers the bottom line is cloud computing banks heavily on virtualization and automation technologies it is fast efficient and secure all right so this wraps up today's video thanks for watching please subscribe